Hey guys, I have the 650 GT EVGA power supply here, and it's relatively new. I think I had it for maybe a year, and I'm not running anything crazy here, but I only have a small case fan here and another small case fan in there, and I really wanted uh, this power supply to be, I guess, a bulk of the cooling of the air intake because of the skimpy fan setup that I have here. But the problem is when the computer is on, it's actually um, the fan blades are not moving at all and the fan is not on. So I'm gonna show you that. Um, let me just set up my flashlight right here and I'm gonna turn it on. And as you can see, right when I turn it on, it spins for just about a second and then it does not turn on anymore. And the fan no longer sp spins when the system is up. So I ran Cinebench on the computer. I did both the single core and multi-core. I have an i5-9400 in here and still the fan did not spin up. So I did a little bit of research and I figured out that the reason is because unless you're using either more than 20% of the power of the uh, GPU, I guess 20% would be more than 130 uh, watts, then apparently this thing didn't turn on. Some people say it's more than that, so let's test it out. I'm gonna plug some more things in and see if it will turn on, because it didn't turn on even under load. So I plugged in two more drives, and again, it just turns on for the first second. So I'm going to put in this GPU, and hopefully that will uh, start up the fans, because I really wanna see um, the reason why it's not turning on. This is the RX 580, and it uses an eight pin uh, power adapter, power, piece, I guess, and then we will see what happened with that. So here I have the Radeon RX 580 um, made by XFX from AMD, and um, I'm running a benchmark right now, and it's working as hard as it could, and still, I don't see the fan actually spinning from the uh, PSU, and that is a little bit concerning, because it should be spinning at this point. I mean, even in eco mode, I'm running a benchmark, and um, the fans of the RX 580 are running, uh, and the CPU is definitely working hard, so I'm just not understanding like how much wattage is necessary in order to get this fan to run because it is not running at all. But as of now, even if you have a, a decent load, I'm not sure how many watts this takes, but uh, it does use one of the GPU uh, headers, so it should it should be working. I mean, so if you look in the questions of the Amazon listing, you'll see that a lot of time a lot of people had the same uh, concerns as me. Some people claim that there's some kind of heat sensor, and some people claim that there's a certain wattage limit. And we're gonna check out some more answers, but I think this is basically the. Um, but there are definitely other people that had the same issue as me, as you can see. Um, yeah. If you look at their reviews, a lot of people also have mentioned the fans, and a lot of people are saying the same things. That um, yeah, the fan doesn't really turn on, and that's good. But honestly, I find it. Um, yeah, I find it that fact that the fan didn't turn on to just be uh, annoying. I wish it had an eco button like the one on this one does. And this is the 550 um, GA EVGA Supernova. But I guess it's doing what it's supposed to do. All in all, I guess I didn't have too many problems yet with my uh, power supply, so I'm going to just leave it as it is. I'm watching uh, Gamers Nexus's review on the 750 GT Supernova, which is basically the same thing as the 650 except 750. Set load, get about a minute there. And um, as we're doing that, uh, you can see that the fan still hasn't turned on yet. Uh, it's just not enough load on the power supply to really matter. Um, and so he was actually wrong there, uh, and he'll correct himself later. Turn on, so here we go, load. Uh, so to go here, he thinks that 100%. Load, and my guess is as soon as I do that, the fan will turn on, so here we go, hit another percent load. Yeah, and these fans, they'll turn on either based on a temperature sensor or based on a load percentage. Yeah, yeah, yeah fan, so yeah. I, apparently... Yep, that's, that's what I would go with right there. And that's about 10 seconds for me. Yeah, and then they're hitting 100% load, 100% load, and still not turning on. So that shows that these power supplies are meant to turn on only by uh, if they find a lot of heat. Um, so the sensor inside, apparently, uh, and it will sense if there's a lot of heat or not. So thanks, Gamer Nexus, for actually um, explaining that to me. Um, so I guess this whole video was my, um, my journeys and adventures into figuring out that these fans don't turn on unless there's a lot of heat inside. Um, which I would really like to see someone test. I'm not sure where the sensor is exactly, but uh, maybe I should like aim a blow dryer at it and see if it turns on or something. Um, anyway, uh, thanks for watching. If, if this helped anybody in any way, um, that would be nice. But I, I just, it was, it was weird that it doesn't turn on. I wish there was an option like um, the other one that I showed you, the GT, for it to turn on by itself, like the eco mode. But this one does not have an eco mode, so I mean the whole thing is eco mode. It doesn't have an eco mode. The whole thing is just set up like that. It doesn't have a low, uh, high eco or uh, bad eco mode or something. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, probably for the third time, and I hope this helped you somehow.